Hey guys, how's it going? I know E3 kind of came and went, and we didn't have any new Fire Emblem. But that's okay, because we actually have two great games that I wanted to highlight. Um, something that you guys might be interested in if you're a big Fire Emblem fan. The first is this Dark Deity here, and it actually looks pretty good. So if you played anything like Sacred Stones or um, the original Fire Emblem, the original Fire Emblem on uh, Game Boy Advance with Ellie Wood, Hector, and Lin. This is very much slimmer, similar to it. So you can see here that they have different classes and you have different paths you can kind of evolve your unit to. That's very much kind of like um, the Fire Emblem of old. So you see there, there's classes, there's over 300 weapons, there's so many classes. And it's kind of fun to try them all. And that animation is very reminiscent of the old Fire Emblem games. So I'm definitely going to check this out. Um, I think it did kind of launch today on Steam. Um, it's kind of unclear when they're going to have it available on Switch. But we know it is now available on Steam. So definitely check that out um, if you're an interested Fire Emblem fan. Now Nintendo did kind of release something else that's similar to Fire Emblem and that's Advance Wars. So I don't know if many of you guys have actually seen this, um, but Advance Wars is very much um, like Fire Emblem, except this time you kind of have a base and you kind of have a base here and you can actually generate units. So you know Fire Emblem, the old Fire Emblem, it has the weapon triangle, sword speed axe, axe speed lance, lance speed sword, but here you have similar thing except now you craft your own units. So for instance, you have these uh, anti-tank units that are good against tanks, you have soldiers which are good against anti-tank units, and you have artillery which is good against everyone. Now in each of the advanced wars, you get to control a commanding officer. So they call it CO, and each commanding officer has a unique skill. So what they're showing you right now is Nell, she's the commanding officer and she just used one of her special abilities and it actually increases all of her um, unit's attack. So they, they have a bigger chance to do more damage. So other commanders like Andy who's kind of the main protagonist, one of them, one of the three, his is to heal all his units. That's useful as well. I think my favorite is Sammy, she kind of heals all of the machinery units because she's an engineer which is really good if you have a team full of tanks but the way that this works is instead of having heroes you basically have a base every map and you're trying to take over the enemy base now you can do that one of two ways one is you can kill the enemies and you or two you can actually just take over their base so the infantry units are the one who takes over their base and a full level up infantry unit has 10 so if you capture their base twice you win now if you've been watching you're going to notice that some of these units are close range whereas this artillery unit it works like a bow in fire emblem where they can only hit two to three spaces um, depending on what they have equipped in the bow but in this demo, what's great about it is, I'm going to fast forward, is instead of killing all the units, this guy is going to take over the enemy's base here. And he doesn't have to kill every single one of the units, he doesn't have to capture every single one of the buildings. What he's going to do instead is he's just going to capture this base. So you're going to notice here, um, he has a full team and he captured it using this APC, which is basically a transport unit, took the units all the way over here and on his very next turn he's actually going to capture the base. So day 7, now the turns here are calculated as days and sometimes the maps have a certain challenge. So for instance maybe a battle only lasts 7 days and you have to capture the base or defeat all enemy units by then. But you see here, he won. Um, the, what I really like about Advanced Wars is it only got two games. Um, the first one had this kind of cartoony feel to it, which is really nice and friendly and bright and colorful, kind of like playing army men. But the second one, they kind of went darker and it wasn't as popular, so I have to see what the art is for Advanced Wars 2. Now what I like, what they did was they took the 2D models and they kind of turned them into 3D. It has a very shell 
cell shaded look. So can't wait to see what the rest of the units look like. Um, and you're part of the orange army there. And if you watch this whole thing, they actually go through two different maps. Um, one with Nell, who's your commanding officer, and one with Andy. And you can see here on this map, what's cool about this is there's helicopters. So you have transport toppers, you have far artillery units, you have mid-range artillery units, you have these tanks, which are good against infantry. They don't actually shoot kind of tank bullets, they shoot uh, machine gun bullets. And then you have helicopters. Now helicopters can shoot infantry units um, very effectively, but they're not so good at air-to-air. -air. So definitely invest in Advance Wars if you're interested. Um, it's coming out, I think, in November. And Breath of the Wild 2 sequel is held until 2022. So definitely check this one out if you're interested. If you want to check out Dark Deity um, on Steam, I definitely recommend it. It looks very old school Fire Emblem. Hoping it comes to Switch because, you know, I prefer having the ability to play in my bed as well as on the go. And uh, it would be nice if this came out on the Switch as well. But these are the two Fire Emblem-like games that were shown off at E3. Dark Deity is out now, I believe. And Advance Wars is coming in November. So definitely check those two out. Um, I know we didn't get a new Fire Emblem. I do think the next Fire Emblem is going to be a remake. Um, rather that be kind of Ike's chapter, because he has two games, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Or rather it's going to be a remake of Genealogy of the Holy War, because we've never really got that. Can't wait to see. But in the meantime, um, don't feel like there was nothing for us if you're a strategy gamer and if you're a Fire Emblem fan, because there is. So definitely check these out. I know I'll check out Advanced Wars for sure when it comes out. And let me know what you guys think. Thanks guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.